What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. No boxes being broken today because we have a monster mail day. It's been a long time since we've done a regular mail day. We did a Com C mail day with just a few things uh, not too long ago, but it's been a while since we've gotten a chance to look through a couple really big stacks of mail. So we got a lot of cards to get through. So we're, our, we are just going to get right to it in the background. Always shades of things to come. Alonzo Morning, very, that's the first year of autographics, 96, 97. And Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor from Manu Ginobili. Okay, first package, we got some set chase stuff. Um, the first one here is going to be John ja Morant. Not the best timing, obviously, to buy a <laughs> jock card. Actually, for me, it was the best timing because I just needed this for the set. Um, this was the last vet card I needed for the photogenic set. And uh, this was put up for auction, so I was able to get it for just a few bucks. I know a lot of, buy it now is on a lot of those get pretty expensive on just the single cards. And now I, I don't I've not completed the rookie uh, set yet. So all hundred vets I have, there's 40 rookies. I'm like maybe halfway through, maybe not even not <laughs> there yet. Uh, but I'll probably do a video at some point showing off the full photo photogenic set since all those cards are so so cool looking. Um, all right, we got some new set chases going on. If you guys saw the recon box that you see in the background there behind the morning, pulled some really nice stuff out of that box. And a couple of them were uh, this vector insert. I pulled a Chet Holmgren and Luca. Such a cool card. One of the, it's a cheap card. It's not expensive. I've been picking up a lot of these already. So the next mail day video, you're gonna see a bunch more of these coming in. But as, in terms of a cheap insert, I don't know if you can get much better than this. I love the kind of black and white look to it, but it's not all black and white. There's almost a little bit of a bluish kind of hue to it. And it's got that full foil board all the way around. Man, I just cannot really get much better than that for a, a cheap set. Here's another one, Jabari Smith. Um, again, like this cost me $1.25 plus shipping for this card. <laughs> and it's, it's so cool looking. Can't wait to, to finish this up and pull that Put that full set together which i don't even know who's all in the full set yet because panini has still not completed that checklist for recon so i don't even know who's who's on the checklist i only know what i've seen on ebay so far uh we got another obsidian vitreous card so i i got the kevin durant of this last time um not going after this set super hard they're still really hard to find these cards from 2020 21 there just there doesn't seem to be a lot out there um so if i see auctions uh, pop up I'll probably probably grab those if I if I can get a good deal on them but I'm not really going out of my way to spend a ton on them I think another one yeah here's another one kind of the same thing elite glass um, I put the full glass master set together recently just I think in the last mail day actually it was the com C mail day that we did not too long ago I got the last card I needed for that set um, and there's a different horizontal glass set just called Elite Glass instead of Glass Masters from the same year, same product, 2012-13 Elite Series. And eh, this is really cool too. <laughs> I almost like this design better than the one I put together. So I think I'm stuck. I'll, I'll be probably going after that set too. But again, not spending a ton of money. Probably if, if I see auctions come up, I'll probably go for them. But otherwise, um, I'll be picking those up little by little. All right, I think that's as far as set chases we got. Denny, onto our Avdia Avalanche score. Purple number to 49. It is so hard to find the purple parallels of these retail exclusive Chronicles <laughs> parallels. Um, score, classics, uh, rookies and stars. I know I'm forgetting some more that I need these purple of 49, but I just think a lot of people, there's probably so much of this product out there that's not being ripped. There's probably a lot of these purple rookies just sitting in those in those products, the retail products that, you know, they overproduce and not enough people are ripping, um, but was able to find that one. So getting closer to completing all those parallels out of Chronicles. DC Sports, here's another one. Was able to track down uh, one of the classics parallels. There's actually two cards in here. I always like to try and buy multiple from DC Sports if I can. Classics, this is the blue, number to 99, another just parallel that's, that, that's super hard to find. And here's another cool one. Clearly Donruss, the rookie is insert, red, number to 49. I had the, the blue to 99 of this, but I'd never seen the red pop up for sale before. So this is another 
kind of cool of addition that you don't see pop up very often. Uh, next card is going to be Impeccable. This is uh, the red version from Tmall. I, I don't know if they didn't call it a red flood, I don't think, but it, I do like the full bleed red all over the card. $4.99. I got this for like $3, I think, with like a dollar shipping. <laughs> Um, not numbered or anything, um, but still a really cool card. I don't really have a lot of metal cards like that. So for three bucks, I figured why not? This one costs a little bit more. It's another metal card, but this one has an on card autograph or on metal autograph. This one is numbered 26 out of 75. Pretty cool. Add that to the Denny stash. We got some more. Denny stuff. Here we got a white sparkle. And what's cool about this, this was sold by PC Sports Cards on their eBay page. And uh, I had some consignment credit available still. And this was a cheap card. It was expensive. Um, but it was nice to be able to use that consignment credit. Love the white sparkles. These are only available in um, rewards packs direct through Panini. Um, print run is rumored to be around 20 or less. Don't know if that's still accurate or not. But that was a cool addition. And to go along with that one, I also got from AMT Memorabilia. They're, um, I've joined a lot of their, they do a lot of player breaks uh, on eBay. So I've done a lot of player breaks through them, but they also sell some singles. And this one, another white sparkle, but this is, this is his second year, 2021. 2020. Prism White Sparkle Rookie. I had not seen, I, I would try to find some comps. None of these has sold publicly since I think 2021. Um, so it's been almost two years since anyone uh, has sold any of these. Uh, centering is not the best. Left to right actually looks really good and I'm more concerned about that. Top to bottom is definitely off. It's, it's top heavy uh, compared to the bottom. So it won't gem, um, but I'm hoping this can get a nine at least. Um, since the rest of the card looks pretty good. So I'd be happy to have this in a PSA 9. This will probably be in my next PSA order. Some more. Got a couple more Denny cards, I think. Well, here's another one that was a uh, rewards card, a rewards program through Panini. Obsidian White Pulsar. This guy threw in some soccer mosaic cards <laughs> to help protect it. Um, it, Obsidian is one of my favorite uh, photos for Denny for his rookie year. It's a really cool photo. I have a, a bunch of different parallels of this card, but this one um, I haven't hadn't been able to find. I've tried bidding on these when this product first got released last year, or maybe I guess a year and a half ago, probably at this point, and I just kept losing every auction. People were outbidding me, but waited. This one came up for sale, ended up getting it a lot cheaper, obviously, than these were selling for a year and a half ago. So very pumped to add another rare... Denny, this one, I think this was also from DC Sports, but I bought it at a different time. Yeah, it is DC Sports. You can see the slab already. Gem Mint 10 Fast Break Blue. Only bummer is that eh, it is, you can tell it's off center. Um, yeah, you can see it. it's not horrible. It's a little bit left heavy and a little skinny on the right. Um, I wish the centering looked a little bit better for a PSA 10, but still. Happy to add that one to the Denny PC. Trying to organize my stack there. There we go. And I think this is the last Denny card. Then we got some really big cards um, coming up at the very end of this video. This guy looks like he got a uh, eBay authenticated box and used this to, to ship this card. And it's another tie-dye. So I've been picking up all the Denny tie-dyes I can find. Um, I have his base concourse jersey numbered, nine out of 25, and that's a PSA 10. I also have his RPA with a really nice patch. Number to the 25, and here is another rookie auto, numbered 16 out of 25. Um, and it looked pretty good too. Centering looks awesome. Um, haven't really seen, I didn't, it's still in the package obviously, so I haven't looked at the card too closely, but I'm gonna look at this one a lot closer after this video. This might be another card that ends up going to PSA if it looks good enough to get a 10. That'll be really cool to have a gem in that tie-dye. Okay, that's it for the Avdi Avalanche. We got some Alonzo Morning stuff. I'm sure if you guys 
watch these mail days, you know who my favorite players are <laughs> and who I collect. This is a really cool one, Collector's Choice Gold Signature. These were inserted at only one per box and it's a huge set, so one in 36 packs basically. Um, so to get any individual, you know, the player odds are like one in, you know, thousand, 10,000 or something, <laughs> maybe even more. But uh, Zoe has like, f I think four different cards in this set and I'm pretty sure I had three of the four gold signatures. This all-star one, uh, or I guess all-star advice, they're calling it, um, <laughs> it's the last one. Kind of cool if anybody wants to pause that and read it. You can see the back of the card <laughs> giving out his all-star advice. But I think this was the fourth and final one I needed off to double check uh, my, the rest of my cards later to make sure that was the last one I needed. And got some more prism parallels. I did not even know that this card existed when I was putting together my list of all the prism parallels for 2021-22. This is, it's uh, like a Pandora effect. It's a really cool um, surface effect on this card, but these came from a premium box set. Um, so it was sold direct by Panini as a Dutch auction on their website. They're all numbered to 150. But for whatever reason, I just, I guess I didn't remember about that box set and couldn't find any information on these. Um, didn't see any sales on eBay or anything, uh, but someone on Instagram had ripped open two boxes of this and was selling off the singles. And I said, hey, I, I'd be interested in the morning he ended up selling, sending me both of them since he ripped two of these. And then right after I got these, I saw someone listed one of these on eBay and it sold for like over $50. And I paid a lot less for these two. So very happy to add those to the rainbow. And speaking of rainbow, we got another really big one to add to the, the rainbow chase. I'm getting closer and closer to making some really good progress on this chase. I mean, I'm missing the one of ones obviously, but outside of the one of ones, I have a lot of the big cards. There's only a couple that I'm still missing that I hope I can find pretty soon. But this is the Green Scope exclusive, or I guess they call, it's called Choice, not Scope, um, but it has the scope parallel, uh, surface effect on it. Eight out of eight. This is uh, exclusive to Prism Choice boxes, so this was a hard one to find. Definitely pumped to have that. A couple more. Do I have a couple more morning cards? Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, there's a big one coming, <laughs> which is why I put that in the background. This is another really cool one. 999, 33 out of 999. I like jersey number cards and they're even cooler when it's on a card like this. There's almost a thousand of these out there. So to find the one jersey number out of a thousand, someone just threw this up on eBay with a pretty low buy it now and I didn't even hesitate when I, when I saw it. As soon as I saw it, it was like 10 bucks or something crazy low, but 33 to 9.99. It's it's not easy to find jersey number cards like that. I think this is the last morning. Yeah, here we go. Auto graphics from 99 2000. So I've been trying for a long time to put together the full run of all of his Skybox auto graphics. So from 96, 97, 98, and 99. They kind of changed the cards a little bit after that. They started looking a little different, adding different parallels and things like that. So I kind of consider these first four years from 96 to 99, sort of like the golden era of the original autographics set. And I have mornings autographics from 96, 97, and 98, and 99 was the last one I needed. These had been, for whatever reason, I don't know who was pumping these up, but this set was selling way more than every other set I could find. And you can tell it has the original uh, stamp there with the on-card auto, some nice foil here. But for whatever reason, these were selling super high, like over $300 every single time. And I, I just didn't think that it made sense to pay that much for this. So I waited and uh, I think someone was consigning like all four, they were breaking up all four of these sets from 96 through 99 and were selling all of them individually. So they all hit eBay at the same time. And I guess other people, maybe they were chasing other cards and I was able to get this one finally for a little bit under uh, what recent comps had been. So super pumped to add that and finally complete that uh, that autographics run. Ginobili starting off with a rare one here. This is a red checkerboard from Hoops. I forget which format these came in, but 14 out of 15. And it's a pretty cool card too. 17, 18 Hoops. Very nice. Add that to my Manu stack over there. Next one, we got 
a lot. I got a whole bunch of gold cards. So everybody likes gold. I love gold parallels, especially serial numbered ones. Clutch performance it doesn't look very gold, but it, if you look at the checklist, it technically is called the gold parallel. Number to 167 out of 100. Very cool. There's one gold out of 100. And that's and another cool thing about this too is this is from 2009-10 um, Elite. So this is from Panini's very first year. I don't know if, if those will ever come in any sort of premium, but I, I have been having some fun picking up some of like first year Panini stuff, um, especially since, you know, pretty soon Panini isn't going to be the manufacturer making basketball cards. So might not always be easy to find this early year Panini stuff. And here's another one, gold parallel as well. Again, not super gold, a little bit of gold down here from Threads. And this is also from 0910. And this is also, num this one's numbered to 99. So a little bit different numbering on this one, but still pretty common for gold, you know, compared to most golds that are a little bit more rare. I think we got another gold here, and this one is an older one. So we're going back to 0304 Mystique from Fleer. So there's a lot of different sets in 0304 for LeBron's rookie year. Both Fleer and Upper Deck kind of went crazy, printing a ton of different products. Um, so this is from the 0304 set, and this is the Gold Parallel, also numbered to 150. Um, I think there was only one parallel. I think this might be the only parallel for that set. I don't think there's like a whole bunch of parallels. I think it's just that gold to 150 and that's it. And speaking of gold, we got one more and it's a big one. Boom. 0607 Bowman Chrome Gold. Man, as far as all the Bowman Chrome Gold parallels, this might be the best looking one. The border looks super. I like the gold color of the border. This one actually looks really nice as well. This is 0304, or sorry, 0405, 0607. Um, I recently completed uh, the full run of Ginobili's Topps Chrome Gold Refractor Parallels. I'm getting closer with uh, Bowman Chrome now. This was the second to last one that I needed. The last one I need is 0304, and I'm still mad at myself when one of those sold, I think like October of 2022, so not that long ago, and I just missed time the auction, and I, I missed the end of it and wasn't able to bid. So this could have been the end of it, but I still need that 0304. But this one looks really clean. It's gonna be going to PSA, my next submission. Centering a little bit off, it's a little right heavy, but otherwise pretty close. And with a dark border on the back, it doesn't look bad. Numbered out of 50, 44 out of 50. Um, definitely looks like it couldn't get a PSA nine. So I'm hoping, hoping to send that in and get a nine and add it to my stack of graded cards. And we got actually one more Ginobili even on top of that gold, that wasn't the best Ginobili in the, of the bunch, or maybe it is depending on what you like. If you like gold refractors or if you like game used Jersey autographs, this is numbered to 186 out of hundred from the uh, upper deck flagship set. So upper deck had a bunch of other, again, 0304 LeBron's rookie year, upper deck had a bunch of different sets, you know, game used and all kinds of different names of sets. This is from, I think this is from the upper deck flagship set piece of game used jersey in the in like the basketball kind of design window there. On card autograph, numbered out of 100. You don't see these come up for auction very often, so I was happy to add this one. And I like the verbiage on the back of here. Personally autographed by Emmanuel, I even think they use his full name, Emmanuel Ginobili. This is before he kind of started going by Manu. And it has, uh, on the front of this card, is an authentic piece of a jersey worn by Emmanuel Ginobili in an NBA game. So they're very specific about the way they word these things. would like to see maybe when Fanatics takes over, they can start uh, being a little more specific when it comes to game used jerseys and, th and things like that. All right, last card in the mail day. And this come one comes with a, a story to it. So I'll explain that as we take a look at it. Kobe Bryant, rookie year insert. Um, Rising, this was Rising Stars, I think is the name of the set. Yeah, you can see it on the back, Rising Stars. Um, quick story, this was supposed to get delivered to my mailbox on a Friday. I checked my, the tracking set was updated, said it was delivered, checked the mailbox, was not there. That was Friday, checked Saturday, checked Monday, checked Tuesday, still wasn't there. Finally, I, on Tuesday, I had to go to the post office anyway. And I asked them and said, hey, this said it was delivered, 
It's not in my mailbox, what's going on? I don't know what they did and I don't know how they did it, but they looked up the tracking number and said, yeah, it looks like this was put in a different mailbox in your same you know, group of mailboxes, but they just didn't put it in the right one. We'll get it fixed. And then literally the next day went to my mailbox and it was sitting in there. So they must have grabbed it out of the wrong mailbox they put it in and put it in the right one. But I was freaking out when I thought this might be lost because I got this as for a really good deal. These prices have come down a lot on these um, and they're still selling kind of high. You know, it's not a cheap card by any means, but it's not like two, three, four hundred dollars like it had been selling uh, during the pandemic hype and all the, you know, everyone going out and buying uh, buying Kobe cards. But there's so many things to like about this card. And there's two versions. This is actually an error version. So there should be some foil on the front here that has his name and says Rising Stars kind of in that same font that you see on the back here. And I don't know. I think the, this error one actually sells a little bit less typically than the one that has his name. I don't know which one is more rare. They seem to be kind of even in terms of rarity. I, I see a lot of examples of both of them. Um, so it's not like one you never find it and the other one is, is always around. You can find copies of these pretty easily, but it was a rare insert. It was, I think it was kind of like a case hit insert back in the day. It was hard to pull. There were not a lot of these. I decided to buy the one that doesn't have the name on it because it kind of makes the card a little bit cooler to me. Um, and let's actually take it out and we'll take a quick look. And the reason I like it without the name is because it kind of gives a more of artistic feel to it. This card has like a canvas, a canvas surface, kind of like modern Court Kings cards that have this canvas surface with some texture to it. This card was was printed the same way on that canvas. And so I like it without the name. It sort of makes it feel more like a piece of art, um, you know, with the with the white border and uh, and the canvas feel and everything like that. And this one actually looks to be in in pretty good shape. Um, I saw another copy of this cell right before I bought this one and it had all kinds of edge issues, chipping, things like that all over it. Um, this one obviously is not centered the best. Uh, you can tell it's right heavy and bottom heavy, um, but I'm not really seeing any other major issues. Maybe the edge here, you can see a little bit of edge issue right there, a little bit of a corner issue, but overall pretty good. Best case scenario, this might get a nine, but that's kind of wishful thinking. Chances are um, probably gonna get an eight, but this is gonna be in my next PSA submission as well. Very happy and it's gonna be fun. I'm probably gonna, gonna start buying more Kobe cards too now that prices have come down a little bit. This was one I've had my eye on for years and just was never able to really you know, put the money that I would have needed to to pick one up. So very happy to add one now, but that's gonna do it. Pretty epic mail day. Hope you guys enjoyed checking out all these cards. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.